I was a Republican just because my parents were, my husband is, my whole family was. But I never thought about it. And it took until after I got my kids raised to start reading and investigating. I'm a, a Reagan Republican, you know. I, I still think of Reagan almost like I, a grandfather. I've been a Republican all my life because my parents were and their parents were. And, uh, I remember Dwight Eisenhower. I did vote for Bush. Um, in 2000 and 2004. I voted in 2004 thinking he might be able to um, help the situation. He mismanaged. I was very embarrassed to say I did vote for George Bush the first time. I learned. <laughs> that was one mistake. I didn't do it a second time. I mean, all through the Clinton years, all we talked about whenever he would do something internationally was, we're not the world's police. We're not the world's police. And we criticize Clinton, and then Bush gets in office, and we start wars um, in order to create nations after we just said, that's not what we do. I just see a trial and error approach. That didn't work. Let's try this. That, that makes me uncomfortable. My daughter, um, dates a guy that goes to West Point and 70% of the West Pointers end up um, being deployed to Iraq. So it sort of hit home. I do have a son in the military and this is oh, very hard. and my son supports Barack Obama. I'm a Republican, a registered Republican and I just feel that Barack Obama is an American. And regardless of party politics, whatever it is, he spoke to my American heart. When my two sons, and especially my son who's a history major and now an officer in the Army, told me about Barack, just, you know, gave me a little heads up, didn't try to sell me on him because that's not the way we are, I started studying and learning. The Obama campaign sent out an email that they needed help desperately in Ohio to knock on doors, and I'd never done anything like that. My daughter plays soccer for the University of Akron, and she was turning 21, so I went to celebrate with her and knock on doors, and I just became... I truthfully uh, can't say that I would have um, normally, you know, been an Obama supporter. But I keep seeing that he's crossing. I said, look at this. He's talking to Luger. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know he, he has no boundaries. You don't vote for somebody because your church says you should vote for him. Yeah. <laughs> you look at their behavior. Mm -hmm. He makes you believe that, you know, you could actually cross and you could actually, you know, pull the lever for a Democrat. You know, I mean, he's a Democrat, but he's not stuck to the whole, you know, partisan wars that are going on and, uh, and that he's reasonable. And for the first time in my life, I could vote for someone I totally believe in. You having this little meeting in the community, I bet your neighbors are probably wondering what's going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to tell them. I have friends who are asking me, and I'm telling them what I've been learning. So just because of that, we can all make a difference.